In the previous video, we learned about just watch mode. In this video, let's learn how to filter the tests picked up by Jest. At the moment, greet.test.tsx contains changes. And if we run yarn test, Jest will run the tests present in the file. At the end of the logs, we see a few options or instructions. Let's take a closer look at some of them as they come in handy when working with a large code base and you want to filter the tests being run. The first option is to run all tests which we have already seen. If I press A, Jest will run all the tests in the project. To revert back to changed files only, press W. And now we see a new option to press O. This will go back to watching tests only in changed files. When I press O, we see tests only for greed component and this is the most basic level of filtering you will need. The next option I would like to show is the ability to filter by a file name regex pattern. If I press W to show more, we see an option to press P to filter by file name. Next, it will ask me to enter a regex pattern. If you're not comfortable with regex, feel free to use it as a free text search. I type app and we see app.test.tsx. Press the down arrow to select the file and press enter to run the test in that file. To clear the filter, press W and then C. Another similar filter is to filter by test name instead of file name. Press W and we see an option to press T to filter by a test name. Enter name as the pattern and it narrows down to one test. Greet renders a name. Press down arrow and enter to run the test. We see the path status against the test. Press W and C to clear the filter. Apart from the watch mode options, I want to showcase two more ways to filter tests. On the global test method, you can use dot only, so test dot only, in which case Jest will pick up only that test to run. If I save the file, you can see only that test is run and the other test is skipped. Using dot only is quite common when you're working on a test in a file that contains multiple tests. Similar to dot only, you can also use dot skip. In this case, Jest will skip executing that test. You can see the first test passed, whereas the second test has been skipped. Both only and skip can be used with as many tests as you want. So these are some of the ways to filter the tests with Jest. To summarize, with watch mode, we can run all tests, run tests only in change files, run tests by file name or run tests by test name. You can also rely on the global test method to run only a specific test or skip a specific test. In the next video, let's quickly take a look at grouping tests with Jest. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.